Hi, we're from Heritage Experiential Learning School, Gurugram, and we're part of the Heritage Center for Active Citizenship. Today, we would like to take you through our journey of saving the Arablis. Our city is one of the most polluted cities in the world, and our state has the lowest forest cover, only 3.59%. When even that was threatened, we decided to do something about it. There are growing pro population pressures and housing pressures in Gurgaon, but the Arabli forests are the green lungs of our city and the neighboring city of Faridabad. We couldn't just let that be open to construction and mining activities. Although it was previously protected by the Punjab Land Preservation Act, there was an amendment bill that was going to be passed that would expose the Aravlis to the threats of construction and mining. To address this problem, we met with the Forest Minister of a state and we told him the possible consequences of the amendment bill. Uh, he told us that he is going to oppose the bill in the state assembly, but despite all our efforts, the bill still passed. We were so angry and disappointed and we didn't know what to do. So we planned and we brainstormed and we came up with ideas. We didn't want to give up. We planned a climate strike and invited politicians, residents of Gurgaon and students and forest experts. We were a little apprehensive about how many people were actually going to turn up. But as it turned out, it was one of the biggest strikes that we had ever participated in. On a project to help save the Arablis, Today we have gathered here to express our frustration and our anger at the failure of governments and uh, older generations to tackle climate change. It even featured on the news. After that we worked with an environmentalist Mr. Chetan Agarwal and helped him to analyze the legal document of the amendment bill. We learned about the various provisions that are going to be amended and how is it going to change the current uh, bill. We helped him uh, build a court case against the amendment bill. We learned the hard way that legal documents have never been direct. <laughs> after the strike and after reading through the legal documents, we realized that this was part of a much bigger problem, climate change. We had always studied about global warming through, throughout our school life. And now we were in a place where we had the platform to make a change. We did some research and according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, even if we reduce emissions by half in the next 12 years and reach net zero by 2040, the earth will still warm by 1.5 degrees Celsius. We organized a global climate strike for our school in which more than uh, Six schools participated and around 300 students just from our school. We collected data and uh, informed everyone about the prevailing situations and how is it going to impact us. We tried so hard to convince the school authorities to let us all go. It was a weekday and we wrote a mail to school authorities and the mail was so powerful that our teachers worried that if we didn't make it to the strike, then we would have launched a Satagra right there in the school. We even got the chance to speak on national television. Thank you for joining us uh, uh, this morning. I'll begin with uh, Kriti Bhatia. Tell me, how did this Save Aravali project begin, the agitation begin, and what has been the involvement of all you kids so far? And we, we could motivate and influence so many more people. We talked about our project and how they could also contribute to solving this global issue. We realized that our voice really matters and how we could reach out to the masses because of it. To continue with our project, we are planning to plant a green belt across the Aravli region, which is inspired by the green belt being planted in the content, continent of Africa uh, to prevent the desertification of the remaining forest land. We hope to continue to inspire people and motivate them to make the world a better place.